Hello friends, my name is Jason Tharp and I am the author and illustrator of this book right here. It's okay to be a unicorn and the soon to be released It's Okay to Smell Good. And today I am going to read you It's Okay to Be a Unicorn. And as you listen to this story, I want you to think about, has there ever been a time where you've wanted to do something and maybe somebody told you you can't? Or maybe there was a time where you felt different than everybody else. And maybe you believed a story that somebody said that you knew weren't true. That's what I would like for you to think about as you're listening about Cornelius as he adventures through this idea of what is going on at Hoofapalooza. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Friends, I am so excited to read It's Okay to Be a Unicorn for you. Okay, it starts out with an official decree. And a decree is like a law. And the decree says, no unicorns signed into law by Mayor Mayor. Mayor of Huffington. In the quiet town of Huffington lived Cornelius J. Sparklesteed. He was famous for making incredible hats. It was almost time for Cornelius' favorite holiday festival, Hoofa Palooza. Hoofa Palooza was about everything horse-tastic, and it always had a special final performance. Last year, Bonnet pulled a statue of Abraham Lincoln across a field. The year before, Clyde stomped the alphabet. For this year's Hoof of Palooza, Mayor Mayor called Cornelius to Town Hall for a special request. I want the most un-unicorny hat you can make, the mayor said. All Cornelius could think to say was, sure, Mr. Mayor. He went home to get started. As Cornelius worked, he thought about how Huffington's horses were nice to every horse except unicorns. They said lots of mean things about unicorns. Cornelius knew none of it was true, but he never said anything back and he always kept his big secret hidden under his hats. Some things they said about unicorns were their horns are too sharp. All they care about is magic and they fart rainbows. When Mare Mayor picked up his hat, he said, wow, it looks great. Your hats are so creative. I'm choosing you to perform the final show at Hoofapalooza. I can't wait to see what you do on stage. That's hoofarific, Cornelius said. Thanks so much, Mr. Mayor. I won't let you down. On Monday, Cornelius stopped by his friend Tilly's donut shop. Congratulations on being picked for Hoofapalooza's final show, Tilly said. I've been working on new flavors. What do you think? Cornelius took a bite. Holy hay, these are so yummy. But have you ever thought about even more exciting flavors? Maybe chocolate hay fever? Wowie straw strawberry, super sour green apple grass. Tilly looked thoughtful. On Tuesday, Cornelius ran into his friend, Hablo Horse Casso, at Huffington Art Supply. They both wanted the last tube of sparkle bright blue, so they agreed to share it. I need that blue for my mural for Hoof of Alusa, Hablo explained. I feel like it's missing something. Have you ever thought about adding a double rainbow, Cornelius said. No, wait, a triple rainbow. Hablo looked thoughtful. On Wednesday, Cornelius galloped to DJ Salad's recording studio to ask for help with the music for his Hoofapalooza performance. I'm down with that, said DJ Salad. Check out this track I just made. Do you think it sounds right? Wow, tooftastic, Cornelius said. But what would it sound like with a wind chime or a harp? Or a little more cowbell. DJ Salad looked thoughtful. For the rest of the week, Cornelius made his costume for his Hoofapalooza performance. He had everything he loved. Bright colors, glitter, and sparkles. While he worked on his costume, Cornelius tried not to think about all those mean things Mayor Mayor and the other horses always said about unicorns. On Sunday, every horse was having fun at Hoofapalooza. Yearlings were getting dizzy on the tilt a wheel barrel, and ponies were eating way too much fried hay. But even though he loved the festival, Cornelius wasn't having fun. Before his show, Cornelius peeked out from behind the curtains. He noticed Hablo's mural had a quadruple rainbow. Tilly's donuts looked even wilder than anything Cornelius had imagined. Chocolate hay fever straw strawberry? And DJ Salad's music had wind chimes and harps and cowbells and even a kazoo? Oh my hey, Cornelius said. He felt ready to pull on his costume. When the music began to play, Cornelius stepped out on stage. The curtains parted. 
Cornelius put on a prance to end all prances. His flow was magical. His moves were flawless. He looked awesome. As the last music note played, Cornelius pulled off his hat and yelled, I am a unicorn! To the shock of the crowd, except for his three friends that have always been there. Soon the crowd erupted in cheers. All the horses in Hoofington loved Cornelius. For the first time, Cornelius felt great for being himself. He realized the things that made him different made him unique. Mayor Mayor even declared a new Huffington holiday, Unicorniness Day. Cornelius said to the crowd, The key to happiness is accepting your unicorniness. And every horse cheered. Now there's a new decree in the town of Huffington that says all unicorns welcomed. Signed into law by Mayor Mayor, Mayor of Hoofington. I really hope you like this story. And let me ask you a question. Has there ever been a time where maybe you wanted to do something and other people said that maybe there was something wrong with wanting to do that? Have you ever had anything like that? I know I sure have. And that was the inspiration for this book. I hope that you liked it. See ya.